Hey guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to Movie and Stitch. Okay, so Movie and Stitch is a collaboration that I'm taking part in along with sev several other YouTubers. Uh, and the, the way you can find the YouTubers that are uh, taking part in this uh, collaboration is just do a search for the hashtag movie and stitch okay and I have it down in below in the title of this video it should be in blue so you could you just click on hashtag movie and stitch and that will take you to all the videos that have that same hashtag that are youtubers that are taking part in this collaboration okay so what this collaboration is just briefly is that we are watching movies during throughout the this year every other week every two weeks um, through going through the alphabet okay so we just started and um, so this is my review of my movie that starts with the letter of A okay and uh, we are wor while we're watching the movie we are w working on a crafty project okay and, and some of us are, are doing things that are related to the movie that we're watching some of us are just getting uh, works in progress projects done uh, some of us are making I charity items um, there's a um, many different projects that people are have cho chosen to work on okay so my project what I'm doing is I'm going to be making a granny stitch lapgan and I am taking four colors from the movie that I am watching something that means something to me or just some colors that I thought that kind of represented that movie and I am doing one stripe um, per color okay um, and make a striped uh, rect uh, not rectangle well striped granny stitch blanket <laughs> okay and so let's just go on and and I'll show you how it works okay <laughs> so my a movie that I watched was the African Queen okay now the word the I don't know if that one actually starts with the I don't think so but any titles that have the word the in the title the first part of the title uh, the the doesn't count okay <laughs> so anyway African Queen is the movie that I decided to watch now I will tell you a little bit about the movie um, here is a description I, and I found the movie well yeah I found the movie on Amazon's where I watched it and it says in Africa during World War one okay uh, a riverboat owner slash captain is persuaded by a straight-laced missionary to use his boat to attack an enemy warship okay so the the actors that's the main actors that starred in this movie was Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn in fact this movie won Humphrey Bogart an Oscar and his one and only Oscar that he ever won okay so it was made in 1951 directed by John Houston um, it was filmed on location in Africa and then also they did some on a sound stage um, in England I think <laughs> okay and then first choices of actors instead of Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn the first choices for actors to play this movie was John Mills and Betty Davis which I cannot picture Betty Davis being in the part that Katherine Hepburn played. I, I don't think that would have worked. <laughs> okay, so like I said, it was shot on on location in Africa. They were in Africa for several weeks. Um, Lauren Bacall, who was Humphrey Bogart's wife, did come along on the trip, and while they were filming, she worked they had to like build a camp with huts and everything for them to stay in because the the locations they were filming in is were very remote and so Lauren Bacall helped out with cooking uh, in the camp and also there was quite a few people that got very sick from drinking the water there and uh, she also helped nurse a lot of the people that were sick <laughs> including Katherine Hepburn was very sick um, it's funny because she always she said I, I saw her in an interview one time uh, video of an interview of her and she said that she was a teetotaler so she did not drink and so she drank lots of water and and um, Humphrey Bogart and John Houston both were pretty heavy drinkers and so um, and so she drank water well she's the one that got sick because she drank the water <laughs> and there is one scene in the movie where she is sitting I think it's right in the beginning of the movie yeah 
and she is sitting sitting playing an organ in like a church service and um they said that when they, they filmed that part that scene that she was so sick they had a she had a bucket beside the piano that you didn't see or the organ and she would throw up between takes i mean she was so sick oh i feel so bad <laughs> uh, she did such a great a great job playing this part even though she was so sick um, but Lauren Bacall and Katherine Hepburn became very, very good friends because of the fact that they were on location um, filming this movie and Lauren Bacall became, came along also. Okay, uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I've seen it before. To me, it is a classic. I just love it. Um, uh, not not the war aspect of it, but if, if the movie's got a little romance to it I'm, I'm all for it <laughs> okay so uh, another fun fact is that Disney uh, Disneyland used the film this film African Queen as the basis for their Disneyland's Jungle Cruise attraction which I did not know that so that, I thought that was interesting because I believe Disneyland opened in 1955 and this movie was was made in 1951 so um, close to the same time okay so that is the movie that I watched now let me show you the project that I worked on and, and explain the colors that I picked okay so here is my project and like I said I'm doing a granny stitch blanket okay so here is my project I believe I chained 140 41 I think is what it was in the beginning chain uh, I can link below the description in the description box below to a tutorial that uh, was was created by crochet jewel I think that was her I think that was her site anyway the one I did I got the um, pattern to get me started on okay and I'll put that below in the description box but anyway so here is the colors I picked out you're hearing I've got some stitch markers stitch markers are clanking around sorry <laughs> so here is the colors that I picked okay I what I'm doing is I'm using a gray charcoal for my base colors what I started out with okay with my chain and then I just did a row of single crochets just to give me a foundation okay and so what I did is I picked out these four colors this color right there I'm hoping I'm hoping that it is um, focusing on it but this color right here is a kind of a cream color and the reason I picked that is because the clothes that Humphrey Bogart and Katherine Hepburn their their characters are wearing is basically they're white except they're very you know dirty and and, and so uh, you know because it's so humid there and so this cream what kind of creamy white color that is represents their clothes okay so then I did this red color right there and that red color, I think, it, well, it, I hope it looks red. It's kind of a, see the red? Yeah, there it is. See the red on the side? <laughs> that is a kind of a garnet burgundy type color, I guess. And the reason I picked that color is because Humphrey Bogart wears a neckerchief or a neck, yeah, neckerchief, right? Scarf tied around his neck. And it is, I think it's kind of striped, but it is basically, it's this red color. Okay, so that red is for his neckerchief. Okay, and then I used this, um, this, um, ombre type of gray it's it's like a light gray but then it's got some splashes of some dark gray uh kind of sprinkled in there i don't know if you can see any of them but anyway it's kind of a, a light gray dark gray variegated type thing <laughs> it's called soapstone um Red Heart Super Saver. Anyway, so that represents there's some hippos and elephants in the movie <laughs> and so that represents the hippos um I believe there's some elephants, but there's hippos, and so that represents that, okay? And then, of course, the green that I picked was some, um, I don't remember what green that is, but anyway, it's green, <laughs> and it is represents the jungle because there's so much green there, okay? And so that is the colors that I picked for my, to represent African Queen, I am keeping a little journal, uh, it's my Wizard of Oz journal, if you saw that, I mean, if you, um, are familiar with that, um, and that I showed you before, it was a Wizard of Oz journal, and I'm writing different projects and pro uh, ideas and things in there, and so I'm keeping track uh, in that book what colors I use for what movie and what they signify. Uh, 
signify <laughs> okay <laughs> so that's what I did and then I finished up what I, the idea I was going to do is I was going to go back with the charcoal gray and do a single crochet row just to divide between the the movies the sections um, but it kind of loses the effect of the granny stitch and so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or if I'm going to just do a row of granny stitch, maybe I'll do it like in half double crochets or something to make them a little bit shorter and, and continue on with the granny stitch pattern. I'm not sure if I, what I'm going to do with that. So I may rip that out, like I said, and continue doing the uh, granny stitch pattern maybe as a separator between the movies. I'm, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it works when I put the next when I start putting the next colors on there for the next movie. Okay, so that brings me to the next movie. So now, since I watched my A movie, now I'm going to also announce today what movie I'm going to be watching that starts with the letter B. Okay, so I looked and looked, tried to figure out what I was going to watch. In fact, my husband and I watched The Birds last night, Alfred Hitchcock, because Hitchcock. Cause I have it on DVD and so we watched that uh, I was I was telling my husband um, different choices choices that I had for a movie that starts with B and and I said well, the birds was one of my choices um, and he he was like oh well if you pick that I'll watch it with you because he didn't watch African Queen with me um, so so last last night I said let's go ahead and watch the birds anyway I'm not gonna pick that one because um, I ended up going with this other movie but we went ahead and watched that anyway so but the movie I'm going to be picking for my letter B is the black stallion now that is also a movie that I watch it's got Mickey Rooney in it um, I mean I've seen it before but it's been several years and I found it over on the on the website it's Huh, what's it called? IDBM or IDMB? I always forget. The letters for that that is it's uh it's a channel, I mean a channel. It's a website here or on the internet, not here on YouTube. Uh, that it's got free movies and you, I think you just sign up for free unless you can link it to your Amazon account, I think. But anyway, it's free and there's free movies. Anyway, I found it on there so I will link it I'll try to put the yeah I'll put the link to that movie below in the description box if anybody wants to watch the black stallion with me um, so um, that would be awesome <laughs> but I'll put the link below okay so that is the movie I'm going to be watching uh, for the letter B <laughs> and uh, I will be back in two weeks and I will give you a little uh, trivia about that movie and then I will show you my project and I will tell you or show you the colors that I picked that signifies that project or that movie and tell you why <laughs> and then uh, I do want to show you on the edges here I have not weaved in my ends because I kind of toyed with the fact with the idea of maybe having a fringe on the end maybe you know right now that's all different lengths but I would cut it you know to the sh the trim them to the same length but I don't know if I'm gonna do that because as you can see it, it kinda unless I add extra strands in it th they're pretty sparse so I may not do that I may end up going ahead and um, <sighs> weaving in the ends <laughs> okay so we'll see if I decide to do that but anyway I've got a stitch marker to commemorate the uh, me doing this and it is uh, it is uh, movie themed I have these stitch markers I bought them from Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet uh, quite a year or quite a wide ways back I think maybe a year or two ago and so let me see if I can get this up close so you can see it see that it's a movie camera <laughs> and so I've got I've got a movie camera and a movie reel and different ones um, anyway so I decided to use my little movie camera uh, stitch marker <laughs> I don't know if you can see it Ugh. anyway that's what I'm using to um, not mark well you know hold my stitch before I join on and do my next section so anyway that is my movie and stitch uh, for today, thank you for joining me, and I'm I'm so excited. There's some we have quite a few people that have joined us, which is awesome, and um, even some people like over on my Facebook group, Yarn Joy Podcast, that do not necessarily see Teddy right there, <laughs> uh, do not necessarily. Um, 
make and they don't make YouTube videos but they wanted to take part and so there's a few over on my Facebook group that is also doing it and posting pictures of their projects so that's awesome I think everybody's having a fun time with it I hope they are so um, that's it I will see you in two weeks uh, for uh, my review of movie B and then I'll tell you what my movie starting with the letter C will be okay <laughs> so he's wanting out <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go so have a great day come back tomorrow and I will have my next yarn joy podcast episode and I'll show you what else I've been working on um, so that's it <laughs> so thanks guys for watching and we will see you in the next video bye